Welcome to another session. Before watching this video, I would highly recommend watching the video about what is virtual machine and how to create and set up one. Links are given in the description. This video will focus on VM on cloud. How to create a Ubuntu VM on the Linode. How to start the API server, explained in another session which is listed in the description below. How to protect the VM, and have access to only what is required, so your information is secured. Linode account is free to set up. No payment is required until you create a VM. I already have an account, so I am going to log in. If you see here, I already have one trading node which is already running. Today, I will show how to create a similar one which I am using already. My VM IP is hidden for security reason. Let's now create a VM. Click the create button on the top left. Select the image you need, Linode supports multiple OS and variants. I am going to use Ubuntu latest LTS version for this demo. Select your region which is close to your location, so access is faster from your network. I am selecting Fremont, California, as that's close than the other data center for me. Select the plan. This is based on your application you want to run. There are more options like dedicated CPU and also they have lots of options in shared CPU. For the trading node I am using, for running the Ubuntu, I am able to successfully run them with the shared CPU in the basic configuration. Which is approximately $5 per month and well suits my need. It has got one CPU, one gigabyte memory and 25 gigabytes of data. Network usage also very lightly used like receiving alerts from TradingView or occasionally SSH into them for monitoring or update. Give it a label. Add a tag. Also set up your password which is used for SSH access later. I already have the SSH keys uploaded for the other nodes. I will select this, so it will copy when this node is up. The SSH keys can avoid using password and trust your machine. We can skip the VLAN here. If you really need a backup of your data, then select them. I am not going select it right now. Also private IP if you have one. Click the create Linode. This process will take couple of minutes. This will go through provisioning, booting and running. Once it's running, you will be able to launch the console directly from the web itself, and see the boot up process, setting the cloud config etc. You can also see the IP address already allocated for this machine. Now it's up, let's log in. I am able to log in to the machine using the password provided during setup. But, we will create a user for regular use, since root user is generally not recommended. I will close this console and will use my terminal app to SSH into the machine. If you notice, it did not ask the password for the login, since my machine SSH keys are already copied to the VM. Setting up the rest of the step, I will skip through fast, since I have another video where I have clearly explained on setting up all these. This will go through setting up sudo access for the new user. Install all the basic packages. Now all the packages are set up, we'll create a API server which is also linked below in description. Now, the API server is set up. Let's see if we can access the API server to get the version call which we have in the code. I am firing this API from my home machine to the VM IP, it's public IP and reachable from anywhere. Yes, I am able to get the response. Let's navigate to the firewall tab on the left menu. You see here a firewall rule already exists, this is my existing trading node firewall. Let's create a new firewall by clicking the create firewall button on the top right. Let's give a name and also tag the linodes for which the firewall needs to be applied. Here, I am selecting the newly created demo node. The firewall is created, but there are no rules. It comes with empty rule set and accept as the default behavior, so still it's not protected. Now click the firewall to create the rules. We are going to create two rules. One for SSH access from your home machine. Second for HTTP access from your home machine and from trading view platform to receive the alerts. First, let's create the SSH rule. Give a description, but let the other protocol and port settings to default. In the IP address section, we are going to give the home public IP address. But where to get them? There are some websites which can show your home public IP. 
I am using what is my IP address.com, which will display your IP. I have hidden the IP address for security reason. Copy the IP address. Here, I am going to give only the slash 16 instead of slash 32 again for security reason to disclose my full IP address. But when you set it up, you should give the full IP address slash 32. So, it will allow only your home IP and not for anyone in that slash 16 range. Add the rule now. You can see that the firewall is now created with one rule for your home IP address range. By default the firewall accepts everything, but we need to change it to drop, so only the rule match will be allowed. Now, let's check if it's working fine. Ping the IP address. Good, it does not work. Since we added rule only for SSH and not for ping traffic. Let's try SSH now. Yes, it works. Let's try if the HTTP is working. No, it's not. You can see the page is keep loading. Since we did not add the HTTP rule yet. Let's add the HTTP rule now. Give the description. But here, we are going to change the default port 80. Since we have not yet redirected the port 8080 to 80. Port redirection is covered in the other video listed in the description. Give the same IP address range. Then add the rule. Now, let's save and check the version call. Yes, it works now. One more final change we need to do. For the TradingView IP to reach your server, we need to add them too. Let's go to TradingView.com and create an alert. In the help section of the webhook, you can get the details of the IP address you need to add it to the rule. Let's get all of them and add one by one. Here, we are going to add with slash 32, since you don't want to open a range. Finally you can provide the trading alert URL and you are all set. Check to make sure your firewall rule got the correct SSH and HTTP IP address needed to access from your home and from the TradingView platform. You can check all the stats like CPU, memory, network stats in the Linodes tab. Hope you learned how to set up the Ubuntu VM on Linode with Firewall for TradingBot. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like to watch similar videos and help my channel. Thank you, see you in another video.